Hello, welcome back to the Evil Within 2. My name is oh, Sir. I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, yes. Pass through the marrow to find a way back to O'Neill. Ah, uh, yes, we have rescued her. It's been a while. Um, between holidays and, like, uh, recording with the kids, it's been a while since I've actually played this game. Rabbit. Freeze Bolt. Uh, most enemies will shatter into pieces, though some may only be temporarily frozen or not affected at all. So, I need condensers and gunpowder. Ooh. Uh, full-on handgun bullets. What's this? Ooh, more goodies. Glad I came in here. Oh, that's where the mirror is. Awesome. There we go. Pull up on that. Uh, nothing else in here. To the marrow. All right. Alrighty. We're here. And there's goodies. Whoops. I didn't want to do that, but I'm kind of glad I did. That wasn't like what I was intending to do. Oh, that was shiny. I thought it was a thing, but no, that was just the lighting. Uh, condenser. All right. Now they're going to start giving me them so I can make the freeze ones, which tells me I may need them. Okay, into the marrow. This will go just fine. Nothing bad will happen at all. So we got rid of the guy who can go through time and space. So it's going to be great. Investigate. Oh, oh, poo to that does like five, one, oh, oh, one. Really? I had to turn them all on. It wasn't a puzzle. It was just flip the switches. Oh, key dokey. We're sneaking. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Yeah, probably. A photographic slide. Lovely. I'm sure I've missed some of those. Um... Her safe house is nearby, but my god, the... Blood and guts everywhere. Uh, where's her safe house? Let's look at that real quick. It's just up ahead. Cool. I want to open this door then. That's the headless guy. Okay, we've already taken care of him. I've already been in these. Oh, that looks really bad. Hoffman? You hear? Residence point has been logged. Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Another one of these. What happened here? Oh, it just disappeared in my hand. Liam? Is that you? Old 2-2. Two -two. Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you... Okay. I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the Marrow? Uh... Doesn't sound like him. No, I was about to say, I doubt that was him. Follow Hoffman to discover O'Neill's whereabouts. That does not sound like something he would do. I'm gonna check uh, a crafting table real quick. I'm sure she has one somewhere. If not, I'm going to the mirror because I need to craft a few things. Okay. Yeah, I've definitely missed several. Talk Kidman, to Kidman. It's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. 
That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. Hello, doggy. We were able to stop you Why don't you go lie down? Too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. All right. Well, that's interesting. They control it all. All right, back I go. All right, let's go get scared. I've got to follow her. I think I came in that one. Yeah. Restricted area. Well, I don't see the father's stuff here. I don't know if I should be sprinting or not. Well, I'm sure I've been this way before, but I don't trust that at all. Yeah, we just gotta keep going. Yeah, I've already seen this guy dead. But, you know. Oops. Not about to trust things. Uh... Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Do not like. Oh, there's two doors. They could have jumped out and grabbed my butt, and I wouldn't have known. Okay. Yikes, the exit looks locked up tight. Looks like they had extra security for this place. Fuji do. Like Mountain Dew, because Fuji's a mountain. Okay. Ugh. Scared me. Uh Just a file. I didn't see really anything important in that. Gunpowder is important. Is that sniper rifle bullets? Shotgun shells. Nice. I'll take it. Okay. I'm going to load up. I, I don't... Uh, for a second, trust... That this is going to be here. Uh, put that out. We're going with the silence pistol. Okay, this reminds me of the Resident Evil movie. I don't like this hallway. I just don't. Especially with the blood. Very Resident Evil movie vibes going on. Tanks. What's this about? They're creating stuff? Creating the monsters? Ah, great. There's a couple of corpses there. One of them got out. Let's see if uh, this computer has anything on it. Nope. Yeah, that's how I wanted to open that. A big ol' squeak. Yeah, they've got monsters in there. So whoever's in control of this lab is making monsters. Why did Liam want me to meet him here? 
Probably wasn't him. Huh. huh. Can't pass through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Yeah, and maybe in one of the corpses. So does he give me a, a waypoint? No, it just says search. Well, that's pretty obvious that I need to do something there. So I need a shock bolt. Very sneaky. Oh, I'm so sneaky. Oh, there's a staircase there. I figured, like, one of these corpses would have it, and I'd just have to... pull it out of their brain? What am I hearing? I'm definitely hearing stuff, and I don't like it. At all. At all, at all. Um. Ew. Just mine carts of corpses? Why? I really don't want to go this way. I really don't. There's nothing good about what's in front of me. Ugh. I'm hearing people like screaming. That goes down for a long time. Did not like any of that. Uh, it's lonely in here and creepy, dumping these bodies, these things into this pit, and they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? Been hearing things, voices coming from the pit, but that can't be. If they aren't coming from the pit and they're in my head, that's even worse. Oral hallucination is one of the symptoms. I can't be infected. It's not a virus or a bacteria. It's a mental thing that only affects citizens whose memories have been rewritten. At least that's what they told me. Shit, I've got to keep it together. It's just loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. It's not the phenomenon. <gasps> no. Oh. It's coming. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Um. Shit, 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 shit. No! What am I supposed no. to do? Are you kidding me? Uh, I forgot how to get in and out of cover because I've been playing a few games with cover mechanics recently. <laughs> okay, cool. Where the f where the hell am I and what am I supposed to do? I just know getting seen is bad. Well, this is going to take me a bit because I need her to go away.
Now between this and Resident Evil Village, I've had my fill of tall women. Okay. I guess she didn't approve of me trying to leave. No, not. Can't see where she's looking. I need to see where she's looking. Oh boy. La la la. La la la. Come on, come on. Make it, make it. Yes, yes. Are you kidding me? This is what I need to do though, right? So that happened. Like there's there's not much for me to do but just try and go. I did not mean to kick that. That was loud. I've got to remember that She can just clip through stuff, too. Ooh. Mm. No! That's annoying. Okay, so they left me over here. Stealthed. I do not like the way she keeps moving stuff. It changes the direction I have to go. It's annoying. I'm already bad at this. You evil. You evil. You evil. No likey, go away. Go away, 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 away. Okay. Rattle, 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 hate you. <sighs> Am I out of it? That thing again. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? I don't know, but there's a slide. Oh, that sucked. So that got me a slide. Woohoo. I'm so excited that it got me a slide. That's not what I need. I need a chip. 
that was not worth it. I was going to say something a while ago about how I haven't seen her for a while, but I was like, oh, if I do that, I'll jinx myself. Um, so I didn't. Really, I can't pull the chip out of his head? Um, so now that I've seen her, I can say it. I was surprised at how long a gap there was. Um, between the, now and the last time we'd seen her. Oh, God. Lab to be. Or not to be. What? Resonance point has been logged. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm sorry. Yeah. You should be sorry. Nobody should be happy about what was going on in here. I'm full. Investigate. There's something here pouch upgrade of some type. Uh, hey! I could carry another stim pack. That's not too terrible. Uh, nothing else except handgun bullets. Okay, moving on. Yeah, kick the door open. Whatever. Sure, I heard bad guys. Who cares? Stealth is for the weak. So, uh, I'm gonna stealth kill the right. What? What? You're not allowed. Where did he come from? He was just... Yeah, that's fine. Rawr. I got your buddy. <laughs> you can roar at me all you want. I killed your buddy. Hey, he had gunpowder. All right. And some more green gel. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Like, I totally didn't have to do that, but... Why wouldn't you kill things? Like, that seems like a weird choice. Hey, I got the handgun bullets I just spent. Alright. Lots of corpses and a slightly ajar door, which makes me... On edge. What do we have here? Oh, it's the chippy that I want. Lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We had theorized that the transformations were a result of memory overwrite, but no oper operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate an effective Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible. Perhaps it's merely coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity Cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Yeah. Two, eight. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I don't want to. Oh. Don't show me. <laughs> it's like the needle going into the eye in dead space. I don't want to see that. Thanks. Just drill a hole in his brain and it comes out with the drill. Yay, I've got the chip. Thank God he's already dead. Yeah. I gotta get out of this lab. I, we gotta get out of here in general. Great. 
They, all those dead ones are now live ones. Okay. I got my pistol. It's got a silencer. No? Okay. Curious. Like I hear him. I've got to get downstairs, which means I do not need to go back through the central section. Are they all downstairs? Is that where I'm hearing them? Nope. Well, there's no way I'm going to sneak up on him. Stealth kill! Kind of. Like, not really, but also really, because nobody heard that. I used a silencer. If I wasn't playing this for the channel, I'd go back to that room where the handgun bullets were and grab some. Okay. Ooh. Do I dare? I do. Shit. I've got the right gun for it, though. If that was a shotgun blast, yeah, it may have taken just one shot to kill him, but everybody would know I'd done it. Okay. Got bottles. I want the green gel. Having to deal with the, um, the goop monster, and then, ah, uh, those things. A uh, little bit more worried about that than her. These normal ones aren't really all that scary anymore. That's, that's problematic. I need that thing to get out of this area. Or, or she could just come right over. Scanning for Unity Cerebral Chip. Please wait. Unity Cerebral Chip. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Yeah. The stealth worked? The stealth worked. I'll be damned. I didn't think that was going to. No. You get the bullets. And whatever else that is. Jesus, kick the door open. What's wrong with you? Okay, so there's a lever. I don't know why I would flip that lever. Ugh. Like, they give me that lever, but why would I pull the fire alarm? That sounds like a really, really bad idea. Oh, voices. Yes, voices. Yes, he does. I see why I would throw the fire alarm now. Liam! Don't! What do you mean, Liam? Stay back! Wait, so that's O'Neill?
Yeah, take that thing off. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Okay. I get it. Um. Get too hot in here. You gotta put the flames out. I won't come down the easy. What range does he got on that thing? Oh god. Uh shit. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, father. That's it. I'm done playing with you. Okay, I just like out of ammo. Oh, great. You think you're too good to fight me? No. Okay. Let the flames consume you. Ah. Wow, he hits hard. Okay, I'm dead. So that sucked. You don't deserve I agree. I told him. Let's get out of here. There he is. The man of the hour. You can't get out of here. It's gonna take more than that to stop me. How about another one? Oh. Ah. Let the flame consume you. Gotcha. Uh. Down you go, O'Neill. Well, that takes care of that guy. So, what you got to say for yourself? Thank you, S Sebastian. You're welcome. Happy to kill. Uh, finally, free from his voice. On my fears. I was so scared. You don't have to be scared anymore. You've got to stop him. I will. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. What does that even mean? Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. Okay. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. Okay. So that you can destroy him. Bye, O'Neill. Sorry I didn't get you out of here. Not that sorry, considering how much ammo yeah. I just went through. How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I see a flamethrower. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. 
So of course she went. Who's that thing? I tried to get through to him, but he heard him. Yeah. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Yep. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, broken flamethrower. Fuel tanks are damaged beyond repair. You'll need to find some replacements before you can use it. Uh, you, so you'll probably need to find a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You have a feeling you're not going to find one just lying around, though. Flame yeah. Floor. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts. Oh, hey. I would never disobey. Yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should. <sighs> Thank you, Father Theodore. To hear you say that, it fills me with pride. Man, I'm glad I didn't join that cult. What? But she is harmless to us. She's not... No. I would never disobey. Of course I will. Whatever pleases you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just please come and meet me here. I have something to show you. It's important. So the, apparently the... I'm sorry, Yukiko. The father... Um, knew he couldn't turn her. Well, that's some weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Right. No, I don't want to go in there. What what machine are we looking for here? Ah. High grade weapon parts. I have four, so I should use that. Mark of influence. Theodore sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Okay. Don't like hallways like so this. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. I I don't trust this. Okay. Well, we're good at breaking things. Let's break this, Yukiko. What is it? I'm not totally sure. But it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian, I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. Sweet. Once she does that and we get through our kind of cutscene here, I'll go back to the mirror and save it. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. When ready to arm the explosives. You know what? Before we do that, I'm going to save it. That's that's a hint. That's like a storyline trigger thing. Like if you do this, there ain't no turning back. You might want to go craft some ammo. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, 
I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Don't blame you. Yeah. It's like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Lovely. Great. Well, that's where we will end this one. Uh, had another encounter with the creepy lady, had a boss fight with O'Neill. The, the normal zombies here aren't as uh, scary anymore. Now that I'm having to deal with people who can go through time and space and giant flamethrower dudes and a ghosty goo lady who kills me instantly when she sees me. Uh, normal zombies ain't that big a deal. Just business as usual. Anyway, that will be all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye!